Hey everyone, welcome. I am Stephanie and I am an eBay reseller. I have been doing that part-time for the past 20 plus years. And I've really been, been getting into doing unboxings of thread up boxes, many different thread up boxes. And um, today I'm going to open a DIY designer box from thread up. And the DIY designer box is a box of items from thread up that has um, designer items that were, had something wrong with them, could not be listed. Uh, rare on the rare occasion, sometimes you get an item that is, does not have any faults. It just uh, either it didn't sell on there or, you know, we never really know for sure. We don't get explanations, but uh, anyway, DIY designer boxes cost $140 uh, plus tax if you pay that in your state for clothing and um, shipping and handling. So it comes out to be about 100 and um, for me, it comes out to be 150, about $150. So, you know, 20 something dollars per item is the average per item. So I try to sell uh, the items right here on my channel or um, if they don't sell on my channel during the video or, or shortly after. I will go ahead and list it on eBay or I might refurb it or do something else with it. So um, anyway, I wanted to first take a second to uh, give a shout out to a new creator out there whose name, whose username is Winifred B. And um, she does unboxings of thread up designer boxes, shoe boxes, all, a great many boxes. And she also does haul videos. Um, I really like her videos. She's got a great style. She's also got a really cute dog, by the way. So um, anyway, give her a try. Go, uh, go to her channel and subscribe and watch a few of her videos. And uh, if you like them, then subscribe. And um, I think you'll really like it. So, you know, it's getting harder and harder to get these boxes. So finding people who do them, I, I'm sure will get harder too. But, uh, but she does a great job. So uh, give Winifred B a uh, subscribe. All right, now on to the box. Here is the box that I got. Seven items in this box, designer items. It's a smaller box, so we'll see. You never know. It's from Suwanee, Georgia. Now the boxes I get are normally from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. Uh, sometimes I get Phoenix. Very rarely do I get a designer DIY box from Phoenix, but when I do, it's really good, but Anyway, Suwannee, Georgia, I don't know. Let's just see what happens. The smaller box is what I got here today. So I don't know, I don't know. Let's open this bad boy up and boy, oh boy, did they tape it. You know, sometimes they really tape it. Sometimes they don't tape it very well at all. You just never know. So, okay. Okay, did I get, oh no, of course not. No, never. I swear, are, are they all laughing around at thread up going, ha, 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 she couldn't get it open. <laughs> I would laugh if I were them. Okay, packing slip. And of course it's Suwannee, Georgia, so they've got the nice uh, tape over it here. We're gonna give you the first look. Okay, ooh, what have we, what have we? Ooh, I like the look of this. What is this? Well, that's the first look. I'm gonna put the box over here though. And the first thing I will pull out is this. Ooh, you know what I have to say? Things look a lot better on my new camera. I I, uh, I hope you like the new camera. I, uh, I actually got this for Christmas from my husband who is so good to me. And um, I'm really loving the camera. All right, this is a Marc Jacobs wallet. It's, I love the kind of um, bird egg blue. Is that, oh, it's really nice. There's some wear on it. I don't know if that's intentional. It almost looks, no, I don't think it is. Okay, you can see kind of like the, the, the wear right here, you know, but, um, but overall, it's really nice. Here's the inside of it. And then there's a divider. So yeah, there's some wear, but um, the, the leather's really nice. Here are the corners. You can kind of see corners do show wear. I don't know. I keep thinking maybe that's in, maybe that's intentional distressing, but I don't think it is. So I don't know. I, I said I wanted to get bags. I think this isn't a bag, but it's an accessory and it's a nice one. All right. Mark Jacobs. Not the, um, not marked by Mark Jacobs, but Mark Jacobs. So, all right. This was the other thing that was sitting on the top. Ooh, that is, that's. It's little, it's little, but it's really cool. What is it? Oh, aha, uh -huh. it's a Marc Jacobs kind of box. It's a size four, really neat looking jacket with kind of a, 
don't know what kind of a pattern that is. It's, it's almost, I don't know, it's a very, it's a very, uh, it's kind of like a muted pattern. It's a pattern. It's a jacket. And I don't know, it looks like it's missing the buttons on the bottom. That looks like the reason why it might be here. But it's a really, really cute jacket. I love the color. And it's got this uh, kind of velvety collar. So Mark Jacobs jacket is the second item. Moving on to number three. Ooh, okay. Uh, Jimmy Choo. I wonder if these are, these are Jimmy Choo shoes. They look like they're in really good shape. They're size 39. They don't seem like they've been worn very much. Uh, made in Italy. There's the, you know, the toes are the telltale sign, aren't they? And the heels. And I don't see any nicks in the heels. Let's see. Maybe a little bit down the bottom there. One, one right there. But overall though, it's got, oh, look, right here I see some wear. Just maybe that's why they're in here. I don't know what kind of leather these are. Um, Jimmy Choo London. They're really, really nice. Oh my goodness, they're super high heels. There's some discoloring back here, right around here. So anyway, size 39 is a great size to sell. They seem to be in overall pretty decent condition. Um, and I don't know, it's it's some kind of leather. I'll have to find out, take a picture of these and try and figure it out. They look like at least, uh, I think they actually are reptile leather, I would guess. But I don't know, we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out, you know, I should have it in this video by the time I, by the time I make it live, ooh. Oh, oh, look at this beautiful Supreme brand. Oh, goodness. With a G. That's my last name initial. Oh, my goodness. Okay, anyway. All right, let's see. This is a really pretty sweater. Please don't tell me it's full of holes. I, I, don't, I don't want the holes. No. So it's a blue. Feels like a wool sweater. I don't see anything wrong with it yet. But holding my breath on that. Because, you know. Wool sweater. <laughs> wool sweater equals, you know, usually it means there's some problems. Uh, there's the logo or the name. Uh, it's 100% cashmere. It's a cashmere sweater by Supreme. I do not see any holes in this sweater. Is that a hole? No. No, that's just a fuzz. That's just a fuzz. Oh my goodness. This is really nice. This is really, really pretty. Um, Okay, that's not that's not a G, that's an S. I don't know. I think that's an S for Supreme. It's really pretty, it's cashmere, it's blue. I will have a little bit of a better check over of it after this. Size large is, you rarely find a size large in the designer items that you get in these boxes. So that is a good find. I really kind of want to keep it for myself, but you know, anyway. What do we have here? This is a white shirt oh it's a nice shirt let's see what's the brand co co oh C no um yeah co let's see if you can see that can you see that that's really hard to see it's kind of camouflaged uh anyway it's a shirt oh is that ever oh my gosh is that a cool looking shirt it's white and I can already see what's wrong with it. There are a couple of stains on the back of it. Um, it looks like they got mud on it or something on the back. I, I don't know, I could probably get that out. Um, size medium, Co, C-O, Co Collection, LLC, Los Angeles, California. Uh, the stains on the back are a bummer, but um, I honestly think I can get, I think I can get it out. Uh, that, that, that person, whoever had it, must have <laughs> been really bummed about it. I don't know this brand name, so I will have to look this one up and, um, you know, do some comps and check it out. So, uh, let's see. One, two, three, four. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, we got two left in here. Okay. Elizabeth and James, size two. Oh my goodness, this is so small. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. Elizabeth and James, size small, V-neck dress. Really? Oh my gosh, this is just insane. It's so gorgeous. 
it is, I can't even imagine this waist is bigger than 20 inches. It's small, but anyway, it's a gorgeous dress. It's a asymmetric bottom, kind of like a tulip kind of bottom. Uh, it's really nice. Elizabeth and James is another brand name I have not dealt with, but it's a really pretty dress. So one item left, and that item is a pair of Tabitha Simmons red and white polka dot shoes in a size 40, made in Italy, leather bottoms, definitely some wear on these. They need to be cleaned up. I'm not sure I can really, like this looks like wear to the actual fabric. I don't think you can get it back to how it was looking. I don't know. I will definitely try with my tub of towels. These are really, really a nice looking shoe. The, I can get the fabric here looking nicer. The inside fabric has toe prints or whatnot, so. But anyway, um, I don't know. It's a pretty good box. It's not my best box ever, that is for sure. But we've got the Tabitha Simmons, Tabitha Simmons shoes. We've got the Jimmy, Jimmy Choo size 39 heels, which look like reptile leather. The Tabitha Simmons red size 2 dress, which oh, I wish fit me because it's gorgeous. The white um, co shirt. Absolutely adorable. Oh my God, so adorable. Um, the beautiful, absolutely a beautiful cashmere sweater by Supreme. Just gorgeous. I, there has to be something wrong with it. I hope not. I hope not because that is a gorgeous sweater. And um, this purple jacket, size four in Marc Jacobs. And then last but not least, this wallet by Marc Jacobs. So that is it. Let me know what you think of my box. If you're interested in buying any of the items right from here, just email me at mystephstyle at gmail.com. And thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy my content, hit the subscribe button and the little bell so you get notifications. Have a wonderful day.